Oh, no, 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 not again. Oh, there's a bad rocket. Anyway, anyway. I'm gonna abandon this. Hmm, we've wasted a lot of money on that. We don't have enough for... No, it's not... That, that tank should not be there. We don't have anything here. We need to find... We need to develop parts that go here. We're losing a lot of money. This contract doesn't even pay that much. Okay. I wanted to use SRBs. I really, really wanted to use SRBs, but they don't work. I mean, it gives us the Delta V and the thrust. And it's gimbling... It's 8 degrees, so it'll hold properly instead of that 2 degrees on this thing. And it's cheaper. But we need something to smooth that out. And it can't be another... There's no conic tank. Why is there no conic tank? I have an idea. <laughs> Procedural nose... Co oh, but you don't have a node at, on your nose. Um... Still. This is dastardly. Oh, you have a 1.5 meter limit. I hate you. These, this has all sorts of curves, though. But that doesn't work. And you have a 1.5 meter. Nope, you don't have a limit. Okay, then what we can do. Hold on, I want to snap. We're gonna do this the other way around. It has a skirt. It's a very awkward skirt, but we have no choice. I don't... I mean, maybe this nose fairing could work. Uh, we'll go with medium and see if I can make it big enough. Well, there's no node down there now. Um, but... Okay, yeah, this will that'll look a little bit better. Well, marginally nicer slope, but not stellar or anything. Oh, that's less. How did we get less? Is that that heavy? Oh gosh, I hate when. Well, we tweak scaled it up, so that's probably a really heavy thing. Hmm. Yeah, it's taking six hundred meters per second out. Yeah, it's, this one's better on Delta V. When we tweak scale it. It's the S3 engine. It's actually the one that goes on Thor. It does have an S3D option here. Um, does that increase the mass? No. Okay, maybe we should just go with that. Not that we need the extra thrust weight ratio necessarily. Let's try this again. 11,000 is still pretty darn expensive though. 60s, yeah, but it's not, it's supposed to be like, you know, a rudimentary Merlin 1 engine. You know, if you were developing a kerosene oxygen engine, you'd probably, there's like the first big one you'd end up with kind of thing, you know? Everybody developing a kerosene oxygen engine will end up with one of these at some point before they refine the darn thing. Though, I have to admit, there's nothing particularly generic about the Arabies. <laughs> Aniline, nitric acid, and furfural will never happen again, but... Anyway. Well, it's still dark. We still... Are we replenishing? I guess we are replenishing electricity. Let's go to daylight. And things are still exploding. Okay, throttle up. SAS is on. And ignition. And launch. I'm actually gonna have that orbit info so that I can see how much pitch authority we're using so that we don't flip again. Or yaw authority technically now. Oh yes, we have no roll control. That's fine. Eight degrees of gimbling is a lot better than two. Okay, separation, and go. Three air beads. And fairings. 
We can probably carry less hydrazine on here. On this part. Then again, I guess we can let it do some of the work after the stage is actually out, too. Okay, that's probably going too far. <laughs> well, we'll need to fix some things, but we might as well do it at the equator. Right, we can't make maneuver nodes. Well, that's our target orbit right there. Um, we actually want normal uh, plus. Eh, but we should have started earlier. I don't know what orbital path line- Oh, that's all the RCS we have for this stage. Okay. Well, then we don't need you anymore. I'm just lifting the periapsis all the way up to our target line. So then we need to correct our inclination and also bring the apoapsis back down because I overburned. At least the orbit makes sense. I mean, uh, from a height thing. It'd be bad if it was like the totally stock contract and it asked us for an orbit at like 80 kilometers, wouldn't it? That would be wrong. I was soliciting you guys to give me suggestions for engines I should create. I'll just model the engines. Max space plane? Well, I think we need the generic engines. That would still go under like one of the Russian corporations. That's not very useful to us. Okay, so we fulfilled it, right? Maintain stability is all at once. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, when we... What I want is not not real engines. Not real engines. No, not real systems. I need suggestions for things that... If you were starting a space program in the year 2000... Yeah, well, Arca's engine might end up in there just for the fun of it. You'll get that at the start, but I've got empty stuff in the tech tree. What we need is hypothetical things to fill it up, because all the real stuff gets plopped into Energia or SpaceX or ISRO or Usenoi or, you know, these slots, right, with the other manufacturers. But then that makes the rest of it a little bit thin. So we need to find parts to, like, fill up heavy rocketry here or stuff like that. And probably some of these are like the Centaur tanks are going to go into Lockheed. And so here's all the fairing stuff here. Yeah, 20,000 kilonewton kerosene engine. You know, that might be under like gigantic rocketry. I've got my air spikes here. And of course the, the monument rocket is in colossal rocketry. But okay, we got that one contract done. Uh, but we haven't really gotten much extra money from that. Mars is sorta doable. As long as we use a lot of RCS. But maybe we should just explore the moon first. Orbit the moon. Oh, uh, well, let's go back to Cape Canaveral. We need to unlock the tracking station though. Changing to Cape Canaveral. Oh, what's that cluster of things? Oh, that's another set of those thermometer readings. Interesting. We could, like, go straight south from Cape Canaveral and do that. Well, this rocket will not be good enough. In fact, that probe core is not going to be good enough. And this doesn't have the range we saw. But then the Pioneer one didn't have enough range either. I was losing communication and didn't have enough communication for the moon. Let's see. That's... Still better than anything else here. Oh, yeah, that's the same. Hmm. You are sort of in a pickle as far as communication is concerned. We need more science. Yes, we need more science. That is the problem. Huh. 
So, what kind of science could we get? Maybe we should test some part. Ooh. We got the Mystery Goo Geiger Counter, Barometer, and Thermometer. Let's make a really cheap sounding rocket. I don't think we can like tuck a mystery. <laughs> the mystery group is pretty big compared to the ARB actually. Uh, that is the payload parachute probe core nose cone. It's not that heavy in realism overall. Point oh, it's only 15 kilograms. Let's see, can I squeeze one into the nose cone? It's poking out one side or another. It's probably gotta be imbalanced. That's not cheats, it's supposed to be a hollow nose cone. It's supposed to be that way. But we still don't have action groups. <laughs> So we're gonna have to poke in here to try and get to them. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, why don't we see if we can get some pad science. That, okay. Fine. Every little bit counts. Okay, and launch. Well, we've already done that there. Ah, uh, the junior still did its did badly. Oh, Bag counter. Okay, uh, we'll recover that. We're not getting any further. But I think I might use some get some custom sounding rocket parts. But mainly, I'm relying on the Raynernik parts for this stuff. So, we've got some science, 32, but that's not enough. These are 45. What do I want? It's tough. There's not. I think we need the probe. We need probes that can communicate better. So that's here. We need 13 signs to get that. We have this baby scout. That went made it to orbit, but it was only carrying the explorer probe. It's cheap though. It's cheaper than the Araby. We can't recover goo like this. We did have something that could recover stuff. This had the Geiger counter inside, but it didn't have the thermometer and barometer. I don't know if we've done those readings. Yeah, what if we put a goo on here? Oh, it does hurt it a whole lot. It'll get to space, though. And really, we just need to get to space. Hmm. We're not actually gonna decouple from this a little bit. So, oh, that's a little bit awkward. We just need to go straight up, really. We don't need to make this complicated rocket. Well, um, why don't we go ahead and separate first. And then this has RCS. I guess, oh, um, okay. Using it too much though. The one thing we don't want to be is pointing at the ground. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Go ahead. Do you have a lot left? Okay, that's not bad. That's only for recovery. Eh. Let's see. It's not going to get high enough to get the high over the earth signs. Hmm. 
Well, extend antennae. Yeah, that's just recovery. Oh, we still have communication. Let's see if we can get the... Geiger counter from the upper atmosphere. Yep, that's new. And we've lost comms. Okay, I don't think we got quite enough there. 40. We need 5 more. Does anything have like a unique science-y thing for us to do? This has... Oh, this has gravity data. Ooh. Okay. So, can we just treat this Araby thing like a uh, Explorer Core? It's really ugly though. But anyway, I'm... <laughs> sort of. Let's just get the rocket that we just used. It's pretty reliable. But we've got the thrust weight ratio to make that work out. Potentially. Well, let's try that. Aero Scout. Can we do the gravity thing here? Oh, gravity data. Oh, we can. Okay. I don't know if we've done a probe report from the pad. We haven't. Okay. We better get going. Put all up. SAS on. And... Actually, why don't we just start off using this? I wonder if we can actually control it. Not really. We'll just go straight up. Uh, can you do another gravity report while you're here? Oh, not, not as such. Well, we'll wait until we get to a decent height and then turn. At least it'll get us to space here. Well, can you do a gravity thing from high over the Earth? No. Not high over the Earth, high in the atmosphere. Okay. 6.7. Good times. In theory, I think that's all we can do. But that's all we needed to do. But we might as well try and get to orbit anyway. Okay. Go. Unless the gravity report is surface biome dependent, I guess we'll see that. Hmm, maybe you should have pitched up a little bit. Is it? Oh, it is from water of Earth, so maybe we'll get some more. Should have been using this little Araby thing the whole time. We may not make orbit. And yeah, not quite orbit. And we're going down, so we're not going to make another biome like this. Okay, we can abandon this. It's going to take... Well, it's probably going to explode soon enough. Oh. High fizz warp is causing disjointedness. Oh, it's preventing overheat by spinning. Uh, can it... How well can it... No. Oh, now the air bee. Nose cone. And that's that. Okay. Okay, so this will have probes that can communicate with us from the moon. Definitely Pioneer 5 can. So... That is the important thing. Luna 3 probably needs a range upgrade too. I don't want to get into configuring parts though. I mean, I'm just doing the tech tree, but some of these need antenna range fixes for stock. Well, I don't think... I think they were configured for remote tech, but 
I don't know how many people... I'm using stock comms, yeah. Again, the goal of RP2000 is to make it straightforward for people. So, uh, for uh, people to transition from stock. So using stock comms is probably for the best. So, but uh, these were probably configured for remote tech and not for stock. So, I'll, I'll make a note to do adjustments later. Wait, can I have seven sides? Ooh, a seven. Well, that's just going to create havoc, though. This one is pretty long range. It can go 69 uh, million kilometers, so it could get to another planet. I want I want something that can launch 200 kilograms to the moon. It's going to be a pretty big rocket, though. Ooh, that is a 284 vacuum ISP? I doubt that, <laughs> but um, that seems nice. But, you know, if I unlock that, then it might have too much oomph. And it costs so much, 700 unlocked. I need to change the price of these. These are too expensive. This one's also 700. We need one that isn't 700. I know we've gotten cheaper ones before. They're all 700. I guess this one... Oh, this one is a cheap one. But uh, it's also too small. Oh, well, physically it isn't. 1,500 meters per second. We need a, We would need a restartable engine on here. What is this? That might be nice. It's a Surveyor Vernier engine. Well, that sounds like it's basically JPL to me. Maybe it's legal. It's expensive to unlock, but let's see. What if we have a tank? Can we use it as a transfer engine? I'm sure it was not meant for this. But it's MMH and Mon 10. It's a one hour burn time. We'll need more than one. <laughs> hmm. Surveyor Star 37. That's a retro motor, but I'm spending all this money unlocking these. How much Delta V? Oh, that's almost the moon. Maybe we should use that. That's cute. There's the bubbles. I get the feeling our fairing pieces are not gonna... Yeah, this is too small. We'll need Able Star Fairing 2 at an additional cost. And still we need to sort of squeeze things. Well, we can make this wider. 118 liters. Vanguard engine? I mean, we already have it unlocked. Unfortunately, we'll have to make a deal with Aerojet in order to get an AJ-10, so... That's not too bad. That's actually probably more Delta V than we need here. That's 8,500... Oh, sorry, 8,900. Hmm. We might need boosters. How many parts do we have? 16. That's not bad. But those casters are expensive. Oh geez, these are expensive too. Hmm. Thing is, we don't have quite as much delta V as I'd like. But then we have a fair amount of thrust to weight ratio. So this is... Pioneer 5-ish. Pioneer 5-ish. No, not percentage. Five-ish. We still don't have any way of targeting the moon. Properly. So, well, the method I used last time was at least somewhat close. So, get the moon at its sort of... But, it's really eyeballing it. Maximum... Thing, and then... We need to be 
over here, the launch center. Because we are 28 degrees north. And then if we just head straight east from Cape Canaveral, we're going to end up heading south. Um, it might be even better to be a little bit longer. Because the equator is over here-ish. Well, it's a nighttime launch though. Bottle up, SAS is on, and... Ignition. And go! This might be shallower than I was supposed to go. Okay. Separation and ignition. And that doesn't look like enough. Fairings. Hmm... No... We could try and go continuously. That's, that's Pioneer 1 there. Maybe if we pitch up a little bit. So... But uh, by... Keeping my angle up, I've made sure my apoapsis is sort of... Though our inclination isn't perfect, again, because I couldn't line up with the moon perfectly. Um, that's sort of where we want to go, so we'll have time. I don't. It's not good to boost up from a high altitude, but it's better than ending up in the atmosphere. Okay, and making sure that's the right thing. Go. Well, we're gonna need to use the RCS on the final bit. Might be too soon, actually. Well, we'll see. Weak. Oh, I don't think that's good. <laughs> no, not even close. Eyeballing it is not good. Oh, it went on escape anyway? No, I didn't want you to go on escape. I kept you in... Ah, oh, shucks. Well, you can still communicate. Let's do some science. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, do you, you only have probe report? Ah, oh, that sucks. We need to put some more science on. We need money. <laughs> uh, at least we got a world's first or something, maybe. Got some of these. First scientific data from the sun. Tracking station takes 300,000 to unlock. And that'll just show us our patched conics. It won't allow me to make a maneuver or anything. Well, taking a lot of contracts is one way to build up some money. Ooh, Earth data! Oh, heck, why not? So, position silver bullet in an adjusted orbit of Earth. Oh. Hmm. That could be done. Dude, temperature surveys of the moon. You know what? Let's get the let's get the upgrade for mission control. It's expensive, but has that landed? Maybe I shouldn't be so picky. <laughs> well, Gem sixty three orbiting probably not. Scientific data from space around the moon. Well, we're trying. Temperature surveys of the moon. The advance is really nice. That's just testing it landed. And we get one science. Sure. Sure. 
Does the silver bullet have enough to move into these? I don't think so. Well, inclination one degree is not so bad. Let me try that one out. Okay, so we need to do what? We need to sort of tilt our orbit a little bit. And so here at the descending node, we want to go down. Oh, we did it. Is that good enough? Waiting 10 seconds. Okay, we got that. And let's cheat the science. Uh, probe report. Transmit. That counted. <laughs> Don't tell them. They still haven't decided that whether zero science is actually science or not. I don't know. But while that's still effective, we will do it. Position a satellite in polar orbit of Earth. You know, that's not bad. And it should be doable. It's expensive, though. Why were you expensive again? You guys must be really stupidly expensive, aren't you? 620? Okay, need to edit these. Six. <laughs> Six thousand bucks for a 100 Newton thruster? Uh, let's call it 11 to sort of match the that class thing. Okay, so we need just 90 degrees. Oh, longitude of ascending nodes. So we have to time it properly, too. Okay. Um, okay, so it's that light green orbit. Well, daylight launch is possible. We need some lead time. Okay. Alright, SAS on. Well, actually, so heading 180. Yeah, just go ahead. Go with that. Okay, ignition. Startle up. And launch. Doing what NASA can't do. Launch a rocket directly over Cape Canaveral itself. <laughs> Hello, Miami. Here we come. <laughs> okay. Well, within one degree. How are we doing on the looks in line? Well, we better get on with this before we lose communication or something. Alright, selling fuel down. And... Go. So, we're aiming for... 1,340. Okay, and shut down. A little bit past. Okay, well. We don't have- oh, we should have dumped the hydrazine in here. That's completely useless. Forgot about that. We removed the RCS thrusters, but not the hydrazine. Uh, it's chasing us. So we should be really, really in line, right? Right? Looks okay. We could bring that apoapsis down. Let me sort of sidestep this thing. There's... wait, is that Cuba? No. That's Central America. Okay, we're close enough. Okay. So we got that contract done. If any luck, they'll ask us to reposition it to give us more money. I guess we'll be we better test that Gamma 8. I don't want that contract hanging around. That That's good enough, right? We're not landed? What? Run test. Oh, come on. Why are we not landed? Oh, just release the clamps. 
We might have wanted to put it lower. Okay. Run test. Okay. How silly. Pre-launch state not landed. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I'm not used to these weird contracts. <laughs> 